So my last trip, I went to Tucson, hung out with Lyle Sanders, uh, did a little triathlon workout, almost drowned. And of course, all the comments on there were, uh, Phil, when are you gonna do a triathlon? And my quick answer was never, absolutely not. Um, two weeks goes by and I get an email from a waterfall bank, a uh, couples triathlon in Florida, uh, inviting me to do a triathlon. And the answer was no, and they said, well, we make a big donation, don't get hungry. And it's a relay triathlon, meaning you just have to ride a bike. Uh, so I'm in Florida. They're very nice to me so far. The only thing I complain about is that the uh, it is currently like 3:30 my time. Triathlons start too early as it is, and the West Coast East Coast thing. Uh, so I feel awesome. Morning. <laughs> People just yell cookies at me. That's perfectly normal. Gwen's gonna show me how to do transition. It looks like are they lined up by numbers or is it, is it random? There's numbers of some sort. It's lined up by numbers, so we gotta go find our number. It's probably the empty one. There we go. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys morning. doing? <laughs> I'm doing everything right here, and then go ahead and show me how the timing shift goes on. Just like that. Okay, I'm just that graceful. That graceful. <laughs> it's doing it fast. I fell three times trying to get my shoes clipped into the pedals. <laughs> And then I just gave up. You're supposed to do it this way, which is complicated. So the idea is the couples triathlon, which is a bunch of couples who do triathlons and they're gonna see who the fastest one is. The winner gets $100,000. The relay team is uh, obviously me on the bike. Thankfully, I'm not doing anything else. Uh, Gwen Jorgensen and Ashley Gentle are gonna, there's two, two laps, so they're each gonna run one lap. And then our swimmer is Brooke Bennett. Me. <laughs> Great, how are you? Good to meet you. Meet All right, you. so you're gonna be at yep. the end there? All right. Well, I'm the only one getting out of the water without a wetsuit on, so. Got it, okay. Easy, easy. I'll be the tall, skinny guy. Okay. Good. So we were last out of the water, but Brooke was real close. Now, I'm about to go past. So the way it works is one person, the couple does a lap and then they swap off. The other person does the other lap. I'm not sure what strategy is involved in whether the dude or the, or the woman goes first. Uh, it seems to be kind of mixed, but mostly I think the dudes were starting. Um, so for my group, I'm riding twice and uh, Brooke is swimming twice. And then we've got Gwen Jorgensen is doing one run and, uh, and Ashley Gentle is doing the other run. How are you feeling, Gwen? You ready? Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> right? You warmed yeah, up? Yeah, I warmed ready up with Ashley. So now I just gotta okay. sit around. Maybe where's, do a little another warm up. Where's Stan? Is he watching a movie? He's watching a movie in the truck. He wants okay. to go home. He doesn't want to watch mom? <laughs> Get it. Yeah, Brooke! All right, we're on the second bike leg. The goal is to not be too far last because I don't want to make Gwen mad. Finishing off the bike ride in a minute here. Just for the record, I still got my Wahoo set to Pacific time, 5.46 in the morning. That's what it feels like. So, pity me. I didn't get us disqualified. Look at her, she's like a deer. So, Gwen, how do we finish in the race? We got last, which is actually mission accomplished. I can do that any day. We came last. Yes, which means we raised the most amount for charity, which is just amazing. This has been a fabulous, fabulous day. Perfect. This was uh, a lot of happy athletes. Uh, I got a $30,000 check to send to No Kid Hungry. Uh, so good work by all this weekend. Ben did an amazing job putting on this event, and we're all really excited to be here. Stanley, 
my son has, yep. has loved being here. So it's been a, a really great, great weekend. Uh, you know, gave some money to a lot of athletes who don't make a lot. And right. we also, you, me, and Brooke were able to raise a lot of money for charity. Did our work. And Stan has not stepped on a crack all weekend. Yeah, it's pretty so impressive. So your back is safe. His is. It's, he does, well, isn't it your mother's back? Isn't that the thing? Oh, great. Thank you, Stan. He's protecting your back. He is. Stan's oh, just looking out for you. It's so nice. Now, I go way back with uh, with Gwen and Pat. Um, if you read Draft Animals, you might remember that she was the happy ending because she won a gold medal. And uh, I, it really stretched for me to find anything happy at that point in my life. Uh, so Gwen and Pat provided that for me. And I uh, haven't really seen them since then. So now we're just going to hang out by the pool and uh, and watch their son Stan be a, a complete hilarious mess. Stan, what are we doing? What are we doing here, Stanley? I already raced my monster truck. Okay, and then do we do a deep sea recovery mission? Yeah. Okay, all right, show them how we do it. Show them how we do it. Okay, now count it down. Count it down. Go. Hey, just like, like that. Okay. We got it. Save the monster truck. We got him. Yep. I put it right there. There you go. Stan's first vandalism. Look at that. One. Hey Stan. Just the one. Can you tell people to watch uh, to watch your YouTube channel and Gwen's? Um say watch out for the cookie. That's good too. Watch my mom's YouTube channel. Perfect. Thank you.